Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. Hope everyone is fine. On that note, let's start this video. This is week one assignment of the course database management system guys for the past five to six years we have been providing solutions for various nptl courses guys so we would like to continue the same so guys uh, if you are new to our channel definitely subscribe our channel then only you will get instant updates and definitely like the video if you like the video it will reach more number of students so that they will also get benefited by you right so please definitely like the video and subscribe our channel and please share this video within your whatsapp groups college unofficial your classmate groups right so that your classmates and friends will also be able to note that so let's see the first question which level of abstraction describes how data is physically stored in the database so for first question option a is the probable solution guys physical level so mark option a as the probable solution for first question guys these are completely our probable solutions if there are any changes that come to our notice definitely we will update that in the comment section so be before final submission once again check the comment section for any updates available or not you can also suggest your solutions guys so we will discuss on that in the comment section so based on our workload we will definitely reply to that right so that's it now let's see the second question guys please watch the video till the end don't skip the video guys if i make any changes in between the video you can be able to note that so do watch full video so they have given two sql uh, queries right two sql queries this is s2 and this is s1 so they are asking identify the correct statement so here you can see it is create statement right create statement is nothing but data definition language that means ddl and here insert insert means it's a manipulation thing that means changing dml data manipulation query so option a is the probable solution for second question right now let's see the third question third question guys identify the correct statement or statements about database schemas and instances so for third question option c is the probable solution guys course of course id comma title defines a logical schema so this is the probable solution for third question right next next question guys so consider the following international university admissions data so this is the table they have given they are asking identify the valid primary key primary key for the relation university admissions from the given instance so what is not uh, primary key guys using that particular key we can be able to uniquely identify each record if you so here they have given four options university and country that means if you use university and country combination that com same combination should not repeat in any record it should not repeat in any record the university and uh, country combination right but here you can see university of delhi and india the same combination is repeating here also university of delhi and india so that is not a primary key combination so when we do uh, when we find out the solution for that so we have got the answer as third one guys university and student id so this combination is not repeated university and student id university and student id combination is not repeated here you can see university of delhi 2023 cs101 and this is different here again university of delhi but here it is different student id and this is also different and this is also different right here the st same student id is there but different university so this combination is the correct one right that's it guys so guys if you like my explanation definitely keep subscribe our channel forever guys and definitely like the video so that we can be able to get more encouragement 
and support to do further weekly videos right so please do that guys next so here they have given two relations the first one is about employee table and the other one is department so these are the two relations between the two tables they have given right so they are asking which of the following is correct so for fifth question I think most probably third option could be the probable solution guys RA1 is the subset of RA2 right guys if you feel there should be any changes to be made and if you exactly know that then definitely please post that in the comment section so we can try to discuss that right so please share your doubts guys so that we can get better clarity than we have be before right next student grades is a table uh, if the following tuple exists in the instance of student grades so this is the tuple there thinking about so which of the following cannot cannot be inserted into student grades so here you can see student ID and course code so this is the primary key they have underlined it right so if that is true then if that is to go by then student ID course code so s101 cs101 this combination should not be repeated here you can see different combination right and here also different combination here also different combination but here only s101 cs101 is repeating right so it should not be inserted into the tuple so most probably third option option c is the probable solution guys so hope you like my ex uh, explanation guys right next question identify the correct operation so this is the original table the initial table so if we perform one of these option queries then the out sh output should be written like this so what is that particular option so here you can see the length is greater than here the length is 6575 here 6650 and uh, no, nothing is more greater than this and all are below 6500 right these two are above 6500 so simply you can see here length is greater than 6500 you should get the river uh, the details of the row or the record so option c could be the probable solution right so mark option c guys so before getting into the next question i want to make a small announcement guys so that is regarding exam preparation mcqs exam preparation mcqs for the course database management system with five to six years of experience we are providing this here you will get a huge number of 320 mcqs 320 mcqs these are past nptl assignment mcqs guys you'll get that in a google drive pdf restricted link right 320 huge number of mcqs for one person it is 300 for two to five persons that means if you take this pack along with your friends or classmates for two to five persons combined price is 500 rupees so please discuss this with your friends and classmates in whatsapp groups guys in your unofficial groups so two to five persons combined price is 500 suppose if five persons take this pack individually you can get it for 100 only right but in order to take that two to five persons should be taken take that guys two to five persons combined price is 500 if you are one person no need to worry for one person the price is 300 already many students professors also taken our various nptl packs guys Differ different subject packs right so for the past five years we have been providing solutions for many students guys and even hundreds of students have taken our various nptl pdf packs so take it now itself so that you can prepare from now onwards and you can get more time to revise at the end so don't get tensed at the end of the nptl session guys so for one person 300 for two to five persons combinedly 500 if one person from the group take the lead and mail me to this email id bk179417 
at the rate gmail dot com. So this is our email ID. We will provide the same email ID in the description box also. You can check from there also. So this is the mail ID guys. BK one seven nine four one seven at the rate gmail dot com. So search option available guys. You can search any question you want. It is easy to revise because it's a PDF. Validity will be till the exam results day, and high syllabus will be covered within less time. The validity will be till the exam results day, guys. And it is a PDF, restricted Google Drive PDF link. So 320 MCQs. Mail me to this email ID, guys. And there is another thing that is YouTube membership. But here you will only get 100 plus MCQs. That too in video format. That is only for one person and the validity only one month. Only one month validity. And 89 rupees price. 100 plus MCQs. 89 rupees. One person and for one month in a video format. If you want this short MCQs, I mean less number of MCQs pack, no need to mail us. You can directly go to our YouTube channel page. S Kumar Edu. It is our YouTube channel page. So it will be like this. Sub uh, beside the subscribe button, there is a join button, right? So click on this join button, guys. Then a small window will open like this. Select the second one, guys. Videos only for members, 89 per month pack. Here you can see. So select this and then only click on the join button, blue color join button, and fill in the required details and make payment directly to YouTube, not to us. So after making payment through that process, you can get access to our members only videos. It is a playlist, members only videos only for members who have joined our channel through various packs, right? So select 89 rupees pack. And here you can see we have uploaded many videos of different subjects and da database subject is also there. So if you click on this, it will open the huge list. Then you can prepare from this. Even all the other subjects also you can get here itself. But my suggestion is if you are preparing in a final exam point of view, it's better to take huge number of 320 MCQs pack because it covers more syllabus, right? Huge number of 320 MCQs. So mail me to this email id bk1794178 at gmail.com to get the MCQ. So please discuss this with your friends and classmates and purchase this 2 to 5 persons pack to save your money, right? So that's it guys. Now let's get back to the solutions. So next question. So this question. This is first table, this is second table and this is the output. So what operation should be performed on these two in order to produce this output, right? So when we uh, do this, we have got the answer as fourth option guys. Fourth option, right? Next. Next, which of the following can be a candidate key? So for this question, once again, option uh, here actually uh, option C is the probable solution guys. Option C is the probable solutions because no, no river name is repeated again, right? Next. So for last question, the answer is second option guys. So friends, these are the most probable solutions for week one assignment of the course. So hope this video helpful for you. If you feel the same, definitely subscribe our channel, definitely like the video and please share this news with your friends and classmates and don't forget to purchase this huge number of 320 MCQs pack guys. Mail me to this email ID if you want to purchase that. So that's it guys. So keep supporting us like this until the next video. Goodbye. Thank you.